Hey viewers, what's going on? Boomer soon here. And if you guys are like me and you love the the six foot four muscle built man of the world, coolest guy ever, Arnold Schwarzenegger, then you will know a lot of his movies. And you know, in a lot of his movies, he shoots people with some badass guns. And this week, I saw him to pay tribute to Arnold and use some of his best weapons. Thankfully, though, he used a lot of guns, so I can do plenty of these. Um, but this week, though, I decided to go with an M60 uh, from the movie Commander. Now, in this movie, he basically gets this huge, like, 300-pound weapon and basically holds it one-handed while shooting down plenty of enemies, not even aiming, just mowing down enemies as bullets just fizzle all around him because he can't get hit, obviously. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And obviously, because he is so badass and so good at what he does, he doesn't need any attachments, obviously, aside from the grip that's already built on. Unfortunately, though, in this game, we don't have that certain version of the M16 that has the grip built on, so I had to equip one. But unfortunately, again, I didn't have a grip that I thought that was suitable. The one that is probably closest is the folding grip, but I didn't have one. So unfortunately, I went with a stubby grip, which is what I did have. Um, but either way, you can't actually see the grip on the gun, so it's not really that much of a help. And honestly, I think in-game, it would give me a disadvantage. Now, the pistol I have is a 1911. With a three time scope. Now, this the three time scope isn't exact. Um, honestly, one thing I should have done was equipped a laser sight as well, but it's just something I didn't think of when playing. And if you haven't worked out already, this gun is from the movie Terminator 1. In this movie, has a, he has a badass silver 1911 with like a big laser scope on it. And like I said, I should have equipped a laser, but I just didn't think of it, and um, I don't think I had one unlocked either way. But either way, it, the gun still works well, I'm always a fan of the 1911. And these two guns just work so well together. I could have done a full Terminator loadout, that's how many guns he uses in that Saw movie. I could do three single Terminator loadouts, there is so many guns he uses. And to finish off the loadout, I had an ammo box, which, because obviously Arnold never runs out of ammo, he can shoot for days. The one thing I would like to do was just constantly shoot with have to reload. But obviously in the game you have to reload. Arnold does not have to reload. And the second of all I had C4 because in every single one of his movies there's an explosion. No matter the movie, even if it's twins, I'm pretty sure in somewhere there's an explosion in that movie. Now when coming to do this loader, I did actually think about using an M16A4 with a um, grenade launcher mounted at the bottom from the movie. Um, I believe it's Predator 1. Now the problem with that is I hate burst weapons, and I discovered this today that I hate them more than I actually thought I did. I genuinely had to quit for about 30 minutes, take a break, play some NBA 2K15, come back and then play the game again using this loadout because I found out that's how much I hate burst weapons. To me, they are dead. I'm not going to use another burst weapon in Battlefield 4 unless I'm forced to or unless I have a good loadout which will actually help me use the gun. I hate to bag on, don't know if I gonna hate to moan on too long, but they are seriously dead to me. I hope I don't have to use one in Hardline even. If I do, I'm not going to use it. I'm using my pistol no matter what. Now aside from that, the M16 is a badass weapon, it just looks so cool. Even though I will admit, one thing with the M16 I liked was it looked much cooler. But, that can't be taken away from the M16, that it just has like a, a badass factor about it. You see this thing coming, you know, a huge guy carrying this, and you instantly become fearful, especially if it's Arnold, who is just a mountain of a man. He is unbelievably built, and is unbelievably strong. Now the biggest problem the M16 has is it has a very slow rate of fire, but it makes up for that with good accuracy and heavy damage rates. Now, there is a little bit of annoying that it has a slow rate of fire, it's only 570 rounds, which is the slowest automatic rate of fire in the game, but it is still, like I said, a very cool gun, and you can still still do very well with it. Now the 1911 is just a good pistol all around, it's something I always love using. The C4 I didn't really use too much, uh, I'd never got a chance to. Um, and overall I had a fire grenade as well, which is just because it's a standard fire grenade. Also I had a bowie knife which he uses, I believe, in the Commando again at the very last scene. He has at least a knife, and I thought the bowie knife was the coolest one to pay tribute to Arnold. Now, this movie is... Oh, I've had all of Arnold's movies, so I are amazing and I'm a big fan. And there's one thing, Arnold is a hacker. No matter what, he doesn't get shot, no matter what, he doesn't miss. So I feel like Arnold needs hacks, get off the game. Until then guys, thanks for watching, I'll be on soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Boom on soon, out.